Good morning, happy Sunday. It's a glorious Sunday morning. A little bit on the nipply side, I mean nippy side. So I was reminded this morning of when I was in high school and someone asked me if I liked listening to Molly Hatchet. And I looked at him with all seriousness and said, I've never heard of her. <laughs> he said, her? It's a them. It's a band. He said, what do you listen to? I said, well, I mean, I, I listen to more old rock, like Credence, Bob Seger, the Eagles, you know, the good music. And he looked at me like I had lost my mind. And I was like, look, I have older siblings and that's what they listen to. So that's kind of what I grew up on. That's what I cut my teeth on. You can keep your devil music of Molly Hatchet. I still couldn't tell you any song by Molly Hatchet. I'm sure I've heard them way back in the day when 96 Rock was in its heyday, which was our premium rock station. Then 97.1, I don't know, I can't remember, but it came along and it played the older rock and I like, I preferred it. Cause I'm just not a hard rock like that. Mm -mm. I don't want to bang my head around. That makes my head hurt to even think about banging my head around. My friend Kim, her first concert was Kiss. And she loved Kiss so much that she would dress up and paint her face for Halloween. I was like, you were wild. My first concert was, I was already working. I was probably 20 and it was Kenny Rogers. <laughs> That's how wild I was, which is funny because at school, I always hung out with the dopers but it wasn't because I smoked dope, though I did try. I, it never did anything for me. I guess I didn't know how to do it. <laughs> to finish that sentence, I hung out with them because I smoked cigarettes, okay? Y'all can't see bras in the background, can you? Pajamas and, yeah, okay. Just making sure I don't have a bra hanging on something. Yeah, I listened to Kenny Rogers and then Alabama was probably my next concert, but I did stalk them. I did. Please stand by. I also listened to Hank Jr. and Country. I, it was old rock or it was country back then. I have a wider palette, I guess you would say nowadays, but I still don't listen to hard rock. But it's funny because some people are like, are you going to the class reunion? And I'm like, no. We just had our 40 year class reunion. And I had several people ask me if I was going, no. Why not? Well, is my phone upside down? It's recording upside down. Well, that's okay, I'll flip it. I would just like to say at this point that you won't see it upside down because I fixed it, but I can just see people running to the comments and typing it's not upside down. I know because I fixed it. I had a hair on my tongue. What? And um, that plastic bag was my pig bay. I mean, Anyway, I'll be back, okay? All right, now I'm home. Hopefully without many distractions. <coughs> Somebody came outside when I was out there. Okay, so the reason I don't like going to class reunions is because I booked in a lot of people that I went to school with. I did strip searches on people I went to school with. And once you do that, Sorry, Gracie bit me. Well, I mean, she didn't bite me. She bit at me and her tooth caught my arm. Yeah, right there. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, I booked in someone. When he came in, he knew me 
He said, you know something? Out of all the people that hung out at the smoke hole, I knew you was gonna make it big. Nude. K-N-E-W-E-D. Nude. You was gonna make it big. I was like, yep, yeah, I made it big. I'm working intake at the Cobb County Jail. <laughs> Look at me making it big. <laughs> Moving on to some of the comments yesterday. Now, the two ladies who commented were very respectful and very kind, and they, one of them explained why children are now taught to use the proper name, which by the way, can I just say that I loved reading all the names of the things that you call the things. I told her, I said, look, I'm 59 years old, I'm not gonna change. But I do understand why kids are taught. And one of them put a explanation of why they're taught this. One child was trying to tell her caregiver, I guess that she was being improperly handled. I don't wanna be flagged by using the wrong word. Mm but she was being improperly handled, I'm assuming at home, by the way that the person said her caregiver, and she was calling it a cookie. And she was saying that someone was touching her cookie and the caregiver did not understand what she meant by cookie. So I can see why they are taught to use the proper names that's that's a very good explanation of why they're taught to use the proper names. I know when I went to the DA's office one time and they had dolls. And I was like, why are there dolls here? And they said, when a child has been touched improperly, you can watch how they play with dolls. And they will mimic those acts that have been done to them without even realizing it. Never thought of that. So yeah, it, it is something that needs to be discussed with children and they need to know because I think the silent generation and the boomer generation may have failed somewhat in that area about teaching that nobody can touch you especially when you're a child and a child cannot give consent to an adult to do such things, they can't. So yeah, I get it. And thank you for explaining it in such a kind way. Because one time I was watching this crafter and her video went viral, but it wasn't so much because it was a great craft. Now I did start following her because I thought it was such a great craft, but her video went viral because of all the hate. And let me explain it quickly. So she had went to a yard sale and she had bought a blue pumpkin, you know, just like the carry pumpkins, right? You know, the ones you carry for Halloween. She had bought a blue one at a yard sale, you know, 50 cents for a pumpkin or whatever. She had no idea that this blue pumpkin had other uses, or that's probably not the correct way to say it. Well, I learned by reading the comments, because I just went to comment, and I just, I just got to reading the comments like I sometimes do, and they were all very angry with her because she bought the blue pumpkin and used it for a craft, and I was like... What in the world? Well, as it turns out, mothers of children with special needs, specifically special needs where the child is nonverbal, they will buy a blue pumpkin and that tells the homeowner, don't say, say trick or treat or say please because the child is nonverbal. The child cannot speak because of autism or perhaps they're deaf or whatever. I think that's a great thing. However, <laughs> unless you have children with special needs or you work in a nursery or daycare or you're a teacher, you don't know about the blue pumpkin. 
So I said, how about instead of yelling at her because she bought the blue pumpkin, why don't you educate her and tell her, hey, just FYI, blue pumpkins are used for. So that's why I appreciate the ladies yesterday saying, hey, this is why young people are taught to use the proper term. That's all you gotta do. Educate people. Don't get mad and tear them up in the comments because they bought a blue pumpkin. Her child's grown. She has no idea about the blue pumpkin and neither did I. And I bet a lot of y'all didn't know about the blue pumpkin. But anyway, I did enjoy reading your comments about what things are called <laughs> or what you called things. Yeah. Anyway, that's going to be it for this one. I've, it's probably too long already. But we will be back later, won't we, Penelope? Toodles for now. Penelope, would you like to go get the stick? You want to go get it? Go. Go get it. Goodness gracious, girl. Go get the stick. You act like you don't like playing with the stick. See, this is what happens. I end up walking back and forth across the yard throwing the stick. I'm the only one getting exercise. All right, you ready? You ready? <laughs> you're not into it. Is that what you're saying? Cool. There's the bluebird I got yesterday. I stuck it out here in the yard. Now I'm trying to, to decide where I want to put my elephant ears. Mm. Well, speaking of phall phallically, phallically shaped things, things shaped like goobers, I came out here to see where my elephant ear was that I planted last year that my sister gave me. Well, I saw a little something something sticking up out sticking up out of the ground and I thought that was it. And I started digging it up and I learned quickly that it is not my elephant ear. Mm -mm, nope. It is stink horn fun guys. They're fun guys. Mm -hmm. Um go get mm, go eh, get eh. so it has Oh, Jesus, I stepped in a hole. Really? Why can I not go anywhere without stepping in a hole? <sighs> Gosh. Please stand by. Okay, so this little tippy thing was sticking out, okay? <laughs> and what is that? That's the hole I stepped in. Okay. Mm -hmm. I came over here and I was like, okay, I'll just dig it up. Well, then this came out and that is like I don't want to touch it but it's um it, it's the consistency of like whipped cream uh <laughs> so see there's another one and another one and um when they grow they look exactly like things <laughs> You know, things. And they stink. Awful. See that? <laughs> That's not my elephant ear. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't know. I've been told if you get these, that means you have really good soil. And I will say, that that's some pretty dark soil considering the soil in Georgia is typically orange, but I still don't know where my elephant ear is, but that is not it. So I will continue the search, but ew. Hi. So I think I'm going to, I can't find the other elephant ear, but I think the one that Ricky sent me I'm going to put here because it'll get sun up until afternoon. Everything here pretty much died anyway, <laughs> except for this blessed thing. I, I can't remember what this is called, but I don't think there's any, any killing it. Mm -mm. I shouldn't be saying such harsh words on the Facebook, 
but anyway I have been using this thing I'm gonna prop you right here okay don't go nowhere do you need to be lower you might need to be lower well that wasn't much better anyway I've been using this thing right here y'all ever used one of these but I might buy me a, a tiller but I know y'all can't see what I'm doing but you take it and you stab it down like that and you turn it and it it's like a it's like a Manuel tiller and it is also good for loosening up your dirt because we all need looser dirt ain't I right ain't I right about that so see now I just have to go through and pick out the weeds and such as that and then spread the dirt out and I'll put it there but that thing right there let me turn you around turn you around over here this thing right here I can't remember what it's called but it spreads like wildfire that's a weed that's a weed up in the middle of it but all that is that there's some more so yeah, that's what I'm doing. If I could just keep it contained, uh, that would be good, right? I think I accidentally dug up a plant. So I'm gonna take a picture and check on that because I think it is a plant. And I know that's a plant and that's my rosemary. And then I can put the elephant ear maybe more back here or maybe just right there in the center. What y'all think about that? We got Gracie rolling around. We got Penny working very hard. <laughs> Gracie, you enjoying yourself, baby? <laughs> it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful morning. Except it's afternoon. Oh, my tomatoes are doing well. My cilantro is still doing well. My cucumber has a little white on the leaves, which I can't remember if that is a copper thing. So I'm gonna have to look that up. There's some sort of copper fungi, mm -hmm. fungus, a fungus among us. And I, I have the stuff over there. I just need to make sure that's what it is before I spray it. But if y'all know what it is, you can tell me. But I still haven't gone to get dirt. I need to do that. I wonder if I can have some delivered. That's my only thing is having to carry it in. But, ugh. Okay. I may have told a story. The little girl across the street came to my door. And I was resting, okay? I told her she couldn't come in because I wasn't feeling well. Which which was a lie because it's not that I'm feeling bad but I was resting okay and we've already had this discussion about her coming in because she makes up stories well she said today my mommy said that I could take Penny for a walk did she now I said no ma'am she said no no mommy said I could take her for a walk I said, your mommy may have said that you could take her for a walk, but I am her mommy. Where'd she go? I am her mommy, and I don't let anyone take her for a walk because she is entrusted to my care, and I don't want her to get hurt. Mm, I didn't tell her that. I said, your mother may have said that, but I'm telling you, no. I said, nobody gets to walk Miss Penny but me. And she said, but my mommy said I could. Okay. <laughs> you still not taking her for a walk, ma'am? Oh. Oh. Y'all? She testing the Jesus in me. Okay. I wanted to show you one more thing. Okay, so someone told me to take those white flowers and move them to the middle of the yellow instead of on the back. I did that. Actually, a few people told me that. And I think it looks much better because you can actually see the white flowers. Now, my next question is, 
should the cabinet be moved back down to where the flowers are not centered with the clock or where leave it where it is where it is centered with the clock because it was it was more like that so tell me what you think about that and also I bought this for my sister isn't it gorgeous because she had her house painted on the inside well you know she had a whole renovation done and they had the walls they have the walls painted like a a white color and then the accent walls are very dark gray and she's has accent pieces in gold which is absolutely gorgeous so i bought her that but i also bought her this and that's about the color of her walls and she loves birds now my question is do i give it to her now or do I wait till her birthday, which is in May, which is just not that far away, about three weeks, I think. It's May 6th. So, mm, I bought her those. And then the other two things I bought were for Lisa. Um, she paid me for one of them because it's a big, tall fairy. Well, it's not a fairy. It's a big, two big, tall fences that have hummingbirds on them. And she wants them because she's building a fairy garden for her granddaughter and then i got her a little dragon with a cute little butterfly on it to go in her fairy garden because she loves little dragons so mm, yeah that's going to be in at the end of part two i hope y'all have had a oh there's no dog she's down there i hope y'all have had a great day remember i love you jesus loves you i hope he's coming back soon because people be crazy and I will talk to you on the next Tracy Tries, which will be tomorrow, good Lord willing, because I do be posting every day. See you tomorrow. Toodles, my noodles, and stay silly, my friends. Goodbye.